Hey there, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about who the Norwegian Joy cruise ship is for. We're going to go through what I think are the perfect little personas for this ship, who I think would enjoy this ship the most. Let's go talk about it. John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome to our channel. If it's your first time here, we put out a brand new cruise video every single day. We are a travel agency just trying to give you the best information possible about cruising so that you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. If that sounds great. We would love for you to subscribe. Come along with us on this journey. So today we're going to talk all about the Norwegian Joy. I was recently on this ship. I was on it last year as well. I didn't have an amazing time last year. I had a good time, but there were a few things that were a little bit off. I found it to be much better experience this year. Uh, but let's see if my thoughts have changed on who I think the ship is for. I don't think it changed much. And I think that's mostly a Norwegian thing. So I've been on all different types of cruises from Princess to Holland to Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Carnival, everything. So whenever I look at these, I try to figure out who would be the best audience for this ship. So when you look at Norwegian just as an overall arcing, overarching kind of group, I feel like sometimes they try to be everything for everybody, which doesn't always work, right? So if you look at Carnival, Carnival, family, fun, party, you know the deal, right? Royal Caribbean, families first and foremost families. Now there are specific itineraries or ships that are better for adults or better for kids. Obviously if you're on Oasis or Icon or Quantum class ships built for families, kids, teens, the whole nine yards. If you're on some of the older smaller ships they're built for destinations like Alaska or the Panama Canal or fun things like that. When I look at Norwegian, when I look at the older ships, of course, same thing, right? They're older, smaller ships, not as many bells and whistles, more for adults. Uh, obviously, they have kids clubs and things. You could definitely bring kids. But when I think about who is best for these ships, I think it's usually mostly adults for Norwegian. Just with the freestyle concept, I think it just lends itself well to couples and adults. I think if you're going on this cruise and you're a foodie and you love to eat, there are a ton of restaurants. There are eight, nine specialty dining restaurants where you can go and have an amazing Italian or seafood or steak meals. Uh, I find that the, a lot of the bars are really great. They have a whiskey bar. They have a mojito bar. Uh, the entertainment on board is very adult oriented. They have a Beatles uh, cover band, the Beatles Revolution. The one show on board is Elements, which is a, you know, a little bit of a magician show. But everything's a little more adult oriented. They have a Broadway 80s show. Um, yeah, there are some things for kids to do. There's a racetrack on board. There are a few water slides. There's obviously a kids club and an arcade. But whenever I look at these Norwegian ships, I always feel like those type of things are afterthoughts or they're just trying to grasp a little bit at the young or the young at heart. I love the, uh, the racetrack, but for the amount of space it takes up on the ship, it's really a one shot deal for me. It's something I would do once. Um, and it's 15 bucks and I get it. It's additional revenue for them on the cruise and it works out. I'm sure it works out really well because they have it on several ships and they, there are no plans to get rid of it. So I'm sure it works. They did have the Galaxy Pavilion, which is a VR uh, arcade on a lot of ships and that did not work and they've started removing that as well as laser tag has pretty much all been removed or will be soon enough. So Unfortunately, I just don't think there are a ton of things for kids to do on these ships, which I think is fine. There are plenty of ships that are kid friendly or really good for kids, especially if you do Carnival, Royal Caribbean, those brands. Uh, it's the same if you ask me about Celebrity or Princess. Are there things for kids to do? Can you bring them? Of course but uh, they're, they're not built for families or kids. So I think it's the same in this case. I think, you know, any, really any age, I would say mid twenties and up for adult couples. I think it's great. It's great for solo cruisers. I cruise solo a lot. I cruised solo on this trip and I had an amazing time. They have solo meetups. Obviously there are no studio, uh, accommodations on this ship, the little studio lounge. They don't have that. Maybe at some point they will 
bake that in. Again, this ship was a little bit different for them. It was built for the Asian market. So solo cruising, not a big thing over there yet. Uh, so I think in this particular case of Joy, I think it is great for couples. Uh, I think it is great for solo travelers and groups of friends, right? It's just adults in general. If you are in an adult group, you're doing a divorce party, a bachelor party, a wedding party, whatever it is, I think this can be a great ship for you. It's going to Bermuda, it's going to the Caribbean. All of those things are amazing. I just don't see the, the connection with kids. There were a ton of teens on the ship. There wasn't an overwhelming amount of small children on this particular sailing. There were about 600 teens, uh, say 13 to 18. And they do take over a lot of the spaces. So they wind up taking over a lot of the adult spaces because there's not a ton of things for kids to do. And I think for some reason, that particular group, the teens don't really like the teen nightclubs or the teen hangout spots. I think they pro probably feel like they're childish or they just don't wanna hang out there. They wanna feel like adults more. Um, I don't know what could fix that on cruising, but to me, teens are the most, uh, kind of, I guess, left out group where they kind of take over, they're the most disruptive. And it's, I don't, I don't blame the, you know, teens are teens. It's not like I, I have a, you know, I joke around about it that we should ban teens. I don't really mean that. I think it's funny for the most part. We were all teens once, right? You know how you're kind of stuck in that between kid and being an adult and you're just trying to, you just want to have fun and enjoy yourself. You want to feel like an adult. So you want to hang out in the adult spaces like the hot tubs and the nightclubs. And so I think in a lot of the spaces like the observation lounge, Spice H2O in the night, the kids, teens kind of take over that spaces, those spaces and it kind of ruins it a little bit for adults, uh, which is fine. Their parents are paying for them or whoever's paying for them to be on the cruise day obviously deserve to be there just as much as everyone else. Uh, so, but I just don't think there's enough for them to do, which l lends itself to them getting bored and then kind of just hanging out in different spaces like the stairs. Uh, so uh, that's just my thought on the ship. I think it is best for adults, adult couples. I think it's an amazing ship for couples. I think if you are looking to go on a great trip, you wanna have some amazing meals, go see a, f a few shows, have some good entertainment, go to Bermuda for three days or go to the Caribbean. It's a great ship. I think you will enjoy it. Let me know uh, below if you've been on the Norwegian Joy uh, and what you think of it. Again, lots of specialty dining, lots of places to eat, uh, a fairly okay amount of entertainment. I wish there was a Broadway show on board, but they recently got rid of that. So I'm really interested to see the future of Norwegian, what they decide to do with entertainment. I really do think that the market is gonna show them that we are really looking for better entertainment than Wheel of Fortune and like a secondary show like Elements. I think Elements is fine. It's not a lead show for a cruise ship. I think we will start seeing that. But a lot of people were at Elements on both the show, so uh, I'm sure it's doing well and I hope uh, it does. I love Norwegian, I love the food, I love the experience. Uh, just if I was bringing kids or teens, it wouldn't be my first choice. So there you go, there, those are just my opinions, of course. Uh, please uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Uh, use this as research, let me know what you think and uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy cruising, bye. Thank you.